Over the past three years, we've been monitoring the increase in private equity investment in the financial services space. Um, in 2018, um, almost a third of M&A auction processes and 25% of announced deals involved private equity buyers. This has evolved since the credit crunch a few years ago, when originally the financial sponsors were investing in some of the struggling banks and providing capital on an emergency basis. Um, nowadays, the private equity uh, investors and financial sponsors are actually taking controlling stakes and full ownership of banks, insurance companies, asset managers, wealth managers, and financial services companies. Our experience is that private equity investors are not put off by the heavy regulation in the financial services sector. On the contrary, those investors who understand and embrace the regulations can create a lot of value. In fact, there are a number of well-known private equity investors who specifically target financial services assets, and those are the ones that we expect to drive deal activity in the coming months and years. We expect that the four strongest hotspots for private equity investment in financial services will be payments, specialty finance, credit cards, and wealth management. The payment sector provides excellent opportunities for private equity investors because it is usually seen as being less capital intensive and is an excellent opportunity for the investors to combine their introduction of management skills with the application of new technology. Specialty finance and credit cards are usually more complex and capital intensive than other subsectors in the industry. However, they remain very attractive to private equity investors because the market tends to be quite fragmented and also there are economic advantages to the private equity houses in terms of providing operational finance to the companies as well as the upside of their equity investments. Private equity investors have always liked the asset management and wealth management space because of the combination of the scope for consolidation. Um, there is a new generation of investors and savers who are looking for user-friendly platforms in which to save for the future. And also there is new disruptive technology which is creating synergies and opening new growth opportunities for asset managers and wealth managers. These themes of consolidation, new growth opportunities, and disruptive technology echo throughout the whole financial services sector. And that's one reason why the sector is so popular with private equity investors.